The difference is that one is a protocol and one is a document format, okay? So one's an interoperable document format, that's HTML, and one is a communication protocol, HTTP. Let me give you a metaphor to try and clear this up because both of them are languages in a sense that are interoperable and that computers use to communicate. So say you have two, these, these are computer manifestations in this metaphor, right? So you have two people, server and client. A server has a table with a bunch of uh, numbers in this grid and client says, hey server, would you please give me the number that is in row one, column two? And server says, sure thing client. He looks at his chart, finds it, and then he pulls out a little card and writes the number on the card and hands it to him and says, here you go, this is the number. Now here's where it gets tricky. Server doesn't always just write the number 27 and hand it to him in Arabic numerals, right? 27, this is what we call Arabic numerals. Um, he sometimes uses other ways of formatting the same number. He'll always write 27, but sometimes he might do something like use tally marks or Roman numerals, or he might he might have dice to, to indicate the number, or he could do something like hexadecimal, or he could spell it out in English, or he could even use Old English. So the format of the number when he hands over the card is not clear, especially when you run into hex if, if he's using a hexadecimal number or a regular number, because Okay, you can tell a tally mark when you look at it right away, but hexadecimal numbers can look exactly like normal numbers. So he has to specify, and he does. When server hands over the card, he says, here's the number you asked for from this location, and I have formatted it in Arabic numerals, 27. Okay, so in this metaphor, HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, that's like the conversation they had. Hey server, can you give me the number on this location? And server says, sure, here you go. It's in, it's, I formatted it in, uh, in Arabic numeral. Uh, okay, so HTML is like the formatting of Arabic um, in that it's the most common, it's just the easiest, everybody understands it, it's just what you do, it's, it's what everybody uses. Okay, so that's the, that's the format of the number. And so you could, you could extend the metaphor, you could say, Roman numerals are like PDF format because it's like kind of like just cumbersome, like more than like why would you format it in PDF? I just give it to me simple. Why would you, why would you give it to me in Roman numerals? You could say plain text formatting is like um, if you were to give it in tally marks. Like yes, it's simple, but it's too simple. Like it's so simple that it makes it difficult for me. I don't want to have to count all these tally marks and plain text doesn't have any real formatting, right? So you could extend the metaphor for all the different types of formatting that you could write the number in, all the different types of formats that we see on the internet. There are a lot, actually. But the important thing to understand is that HTTP, that's the language used to, commu to communicate, to negotiate the transferring of that little document, the card, the document. Now, HTML, that's one of the ways that server can format the document. He can write it in just regular numbers, or he can write it in one of many other ways. HTML just happens to be one of the many ways. Now, the reason that HTML and HTTP are more similar than all the other ones is that they're both created with interoperability and the creation of the internet in mind. Okay, so PDF portable digital format actually was created with interoperability in mind, but it was created it's a proprietary format actually and it's more interoperable now but HTML and HTTP and URLs and web browsers and web servers were all conceived at the same time as part of the system to make the net work okay so we when Tim Berners-Lee kind of like put all this together in his mind he knew that you'd need all these different components you'd need an interoperable format you would need servers that can communicate with the browser in a way that makes sense okay so this is this is why HTTP and HTML are like more connected because they're the essence of what the internet is. You can use the internet to do anything now, but the core of the, the origins of it are in HTML, HTTP, servers, browsers, and URLs.